people who've been to the tour um, before, will they say anything new if they come and watch this time? I think one of the exciting things are the champions are all here on the tour and you're going to see them live and when you see them perform live it's so much bigger and faster and stronger the excitement in that and we're trying to recreate as much as we can of the TV show we're going to even be bringing the team challenge um, on tour as well so that's exciting um, you know we're doing um, a couple of numbers and Robin Cousins is going to be choreographing the opening of the show so we're excited about that um, yeah there's I think it's a great family show um, you know, it, all the generations come, come from the kids to the parents, the grandparents, and, and have a great time. Um, any particular highlights that you enjoyed in, in this series and, and that we'll, we might be able to catch up on? Um, I think, you know, it was, it was for, for our personal routines, it, the, some of the highlights were when we had the artists, the live artists, in the studio singing. Um, I, I remember the evening that we had the overtones singing and it was great to skate to them while well, they were standing on the eyes singing. But they also sang everyone else's routines as well, which is the first, it's like having a house band in. Um, obviously they won't be with us on tour, but we are doing one of their routines. It was so difficult to call who was going to be in the final three because you had such a great amount of talent. Did you kind of, were you making bets all the way through who it was going to be? You know what was really exciting? That um, they'd all been in a skate-off and they'd all been at the top of the lead leaderboard. So it was really going to be on the night how they performed, how they skated. So that was what was exciting to see and be a part of because you didn't know who was going to win. And and that's the great thing about the tour. Yeah, on the tour we won't know either because we've got those three finalists on tour. There's a competition every night and it'll be interesting to see who's at the top of the leaderboard, who gets to escape Valero. So it will be fierce competition, I think. Yeah. Um, it was amazing to um, to see sort of your new version of Bolero and the way that you reinvent it every time. How do you feel when you see the celebrities out there and, and doing their own versions? It's quite um, endearing to watch how they've interpreted um, the Bolero and they put their own stamp on it. And it's so different. It's, all the couples, the three couples, we only saw two on the TV show, but the three couples in the final, they all had completely different routines. And, you know, it's great for us to watch and see how they interpret it. Um, Jason Gardner, particularly nasty this year. I thought at one point um, there was, it was actually going to come to fisticuffs. Um, who are your judges this time and, and can we expect more of the same? On tour, we've got um, Karen's joining the panel again uh, and Robin's going to be there and Christopher Biggins. Three judges, I think it's going to be a lot of fun.